how can we get rid of it? I don't know. I always wonder about actors in horror movies. When you watch the movie for the first time, is it possible for you to be scared or because you know when things are going to happen? Well, I think is it? I mean, I, 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 for, yeah, I was definitely scared. I mean, I think for one, yes, you maybe know what's going to happen, but there's mm. so much of the stuff happens in post where they, they add all the, 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 they compose it and they, they, the editing just, I was jumped. I jumped many, many times and obviously I knew what was going to happen. So, I yeah. felt incredibly sorry for myself. <laughs> like a bit moment of real like, oh poor me. Oh, no. <laughs> Watching it beside her, oh, no. she's like this, like the whole time moving around. She's very yeah. physical. You were very physical watching it. Yeah, that's so. Uh, I have to say that basement sequence destroyed mm -hmm. me. Yeah. That was so terrifying. Without that, that must have been lo a long. It it must take a that long was time to yeah. Shoot, it right? was a long, uh, long, um, long days on on that section of the movie, um, but. You know, the set design was incredible. I mean, the minute you stepped on the set, you, you got a real kind of sense of like weight and, and, and you know, eeriness. And that, that's a real testament to, to those guys. And um, also just the lighting department. And, you know, it's such a collective, you know, to get that tone right um, is hard. And, and everyone involved really helped because the minute you went action, I mean, it was a creepy cellar, and I was by myself, yeah, and cellar. there was a pram at the end. So I was, it was very hard to kind of get get to that pram. heightened level of of fear. Well, you also work with a baby in most in most of this movie. Does that yes. is that really hard? Does that hurt the process in a way, or does it actually make it feel more real in, in a hard sense? Hard for someone who is maybe not so good with babies yet. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't yeah. have a baby myself. Yeah. There, were to there was talk of um, baby lessons, holding baby lessons. Yeah. Did you ever do that? No, no, because I think whoever had a baby was fearful of yeah, having me. I wouldn't know if, <laughs> if the baby needed to cry, we'd give it to Annabelle. No, I'm just kidding. There yeah, yeah, there yeah. They would... Do you generally like horror films, or, and do you have any favorites? Uh, no, I don't, I don't generally like them, and I guess probably because most of them, since I've had time to watch in the past 20 years, have been, you know, heads rolling, mm -hmm. guts on the floor, and I'm just not, that's not scary, that's just like, you know, if, if, you, if, if you've ever cooked and, or gutted an animal, it's, you know, that's not scary to me, but um, I do, the, you know, those ones that, that were set in a way and told the story in a way that it could come out of, it could happen. It could be happening. It can mm -hmm. happen. Those are the ones that I like. Yeah, yeah. What what scares you? What scares you? You know what scares me? People with ill intent. A demon wouldn't scare me. A doll suddenly talking to me wouldn't scare me because you just deal with it. A person <laughs> with a weapon? and yeah. But then I wouldn't run. I would... That would fight it. <laughs> yeah. Well, a doll, you can always put it in the trash can, or right? Well, or you got to deal with it. If your doll talks to you, there must be a reason you need to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what, what keeps you inspired? You've been in this business for a long time. How do you stay passionate about your profession? What keeps you feeling fresh? Making the choices that I make, like to do Annabelle. That was great fun. Mm -hmm. I met a, a, a different people. I got to exercise muscles that I don't get to exercise. Remember when you're young and you would play, you know, you'd play westerns, you'd play, you know, gangsters, gangland, then you would, and you'd play, oh my God, there's the thing, ah, okay, it's killing me, you know, you, so the ability to play again, because we train, we act, and there's a whole lot of technique, but what you're willing to do, and this is why actors stay young, is that even B Betty White, look at Betty White. Mm. There is a youth and a freshness in her. We stay young because we keep playing. Mm. People in other professions don't really keep playing in their lives after, teenage, after they're a teenager. Right. And so you do that. You figure if, if I don't get bored, I won't bore my audience.
Want to watch the latest HitFix videos on your TV? Download the new HitFix Roku app and get all your favorite HitFix videos in one place.